Madison Ave, Juniper Street. And uh, this little section here in South Philadelphia, I guess showing you the highway right here. I think that's uh, 76 West. You take that, you go to the Walt Whitman Bridge, get the hell out of here, go to New Jersey. Uh, but this little section here in South Philadelphia, I don't think I've ever really stepped foot in because if you say it's very close to the stadiums and you're not allowed to park here during stadium events, they uh, you can only park here for two hours. I, they probably have the permit thing, I'm assuming. So this is a little area in South Philadelphia. Well, look, they got different street lights than the, the normal neighborhoods. Wow. So if you go about two, I didn't bring my headphones. Uh, so if you go about two blocks uh, and go this way, Citizens Bank Park is here. Uh, the football stadium and the basketball stadium are a block past that. And uh, yeah, these are nice rooms. Oh, they got some new stuff going on. Uh oh, I have a friend who lives on one of these streets. And she says it's an absolute blast to live here because of, like, when there's concerts and stuff, you can actually hear the music, uh, especially if they're at the baseball stadium. And they ain't got to go nowhere for the fireworks show, for the Phillies fireworks show. And, uh, you know, whenever there's a celebration, if the... Uh, you know, Eagles win the Super Bowl, or the Phillies win the World Series, or the Sixers win the championship, which hasn't happened uh, in a long time. And the Flyers, if they do anything, which I don't think they will this year, but uh, let's hope hope they do. Look at this. Look at this. A grass, AstroTurf, bonsai tree. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. Um... So does anybody know what's the name of this section of South Philadelphia? Look at the crosswalks. Very nice. Decorated crosswalk. If you go right here, right past that patch of dirt, there used to be a big uh, dome. It used to be an indoor practice facility for the Eagles. And they called it Buddy's Bubble. And Buddy Ryan was the old Eagles coach. Um, and, you know, I... I don't know if he was a great coach. He was a great defensive coordinator. I know as an offensive, his offense on this team was you know, pretty much here, Randall Cunningham, run for your life and throw it occasionally. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure if he was a good coach or a bad coach, but he was definitely the most people loved him, man. He, he, he would say crazy shit. He would never shake after the game was over. He would never shake hands with the other coach. And we all, we Philadelphia fans are like, oh, buddy Ryan, fuck, I love you. He would call, uh, somebody called him fat. I think the uh, Bill Parcells was the Cowboys coach. He called him fat. And buddy Ryan was like, oh, I'm insulted. I've been dieting. That's, he's the best. He's the best. And he, he has two kids. He has, uh, Rex, who has a, a foot fetish, and <laughs> and the other one who's not Rex, who uh, he was like the Cowboys' defensive coordinator. So I I never learned his name. So but this neighborhood, man, look at this, quiet. Matter of fact, you can see the ballpark right there. Oh my God, how great would have that been? Just the only thing is, you got to walk all the way around the the block to get in. There's no holes in the fence. Buddy's bubble. Yeah, I don't know what this little neighborhood's called. Call it. I don't see any permit stickers. So maybe you don't need permits. No truck parking. Yeah, I don't see anything about permits.
Now there are places where you can park your car uh, in South Philadelphia, and like you know, your your car would probably get towed if you park here. I'm sure the neighbors <laughs> they look out the window and they see you. Um, they see you leaving with a Phillies jersey on. I know, I know for a fact. My buddy works for the PPA. They really, really, really enforce that um, not parking in neighborhood uh, rule during Eagles games uh, because I think that's like you know it's the biggest stadium. So that's that's the only time they really, really enforce the rule. I know it's tough in this section during Phillies games. But there are other areas in South. You can park in FDR Park for free um, for day games. Matter of fact, I got locked at the last Phillies game. The park closes at dusk. <laughs> and uh, the last Phillies game I went to, there was a rain delay. It was a 1 o'clock game, and there was a rain delay. And the game went to like 7.30 at night. And uh, I, uh, I got stuck in the park. I had to ride over the curb. And my eye on is low ride in Hondas. Uh oh. Low rod. Nice. Um, nice little park. little trail here this is this couldn't be it if this is what my buddy was telling me about if I drove that's also what I'm doing today I'm looking for this trail this is Broad Street this is one of the uh, main arteries of the city of Philadelphia. This is the one that goes north and south. I'm at Broad and Geary. I always get mad when I get stuck at this light. I'm like, who the hell's crossing right here? And today, it's me. And I guess the people who live in this neighborhood have every right to get to the CVS here. Oh, uh-oh. Hello, friend. Shout for that pothole. All right, so what we're doing is we're looking for the little trail. He also said there was like... Uh, an amazing like Halloween maybe that's that neighborhood he says they get real decked out for uh, Halloween or Christmas and uh, that's something in South Philly there's a few spots where they get all decked out for the holidays for Christmas I don't know about Halloween I tell you the truth I hate Halloween it's like I don't know. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not a fan of it. I, yeah, you know what it is? I don't like skulls. Every look, there's skulls and dead things. I don't, I, I don't need to be reminded that I'm going to die one day. And I'm pretty sure that's not what the Halloween decorations are for. But every time I see one of them, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm going to be dead. I definitely don't know what the hell he's talking about. Uh-oh. Oh, you hear that music? That's the Philadelphia Eagles. They're having football practice. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to speed up the music. But that's the Eagles practicing. It's crazy how many pro teams have DJs that show up to their practices now. Yeah, 
See that fence right there? That's the Novacare complex. What are the Eagles playing this week? Oh, hello, friends. This is the trail. So they have it um, pretty blocked. So they have like bushes and trees so you can't really see in. They usually have security on the pavement. Yeah, see? And nobody usually comes down here because it's like in the middle of nowhere. There they are. Oh, this is the best spot right here. Avante Maddox got quartered off. I don't know. I think I just broke a news story. Uh, Avante Maddox, Philadelphia Eagles, cart it off. Practice field. Um... All right, so this is the little trail. All right. Back at it. I found the trail. Nice little park. We broke sporting news. We explored the neighborhood in which we do not park. And uh, I got eight seconds to cross the street here before I die. Five, four, Three. Oh, we're dead. We're all dead. This is great. Look at this little area. It's like a dog park. That's fantastic. Oh, Rick the Puppy. I would, wouldn't it be great? Like whenever I take Rick the Puppy for walks, we usually go on like ten mile adventure uh, 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 adventures. And yeah, why not? And. uh well, I guess it's dangerous because of the street right here, but you just let them run back and forth. But, eh. These kids. These kids. Play basketball right here. Nice uh, front lawns. A lot of space. 
stretch out, you do some activities out here. We go across the street that way about two blocks not even two blocks i can see it from here uh it's chicken and pete south philadelphia chicken and pete it's a it's a lively sports bar it's a good place to well I, you know what i've never done that so i don't want to say it's a good place to watch a game because I honestly, I wouldn't want to go to a place like that for a game because it's just too many people. But if you like a rowdy atmosphere for a uh, a game, let me know. What street is this? We have a house for sale. Remember this address. 3207. 3207. What street is this? Thirty two oh seven. 3207. Why do they not have... I hate that. Just looking for the name of the street. Not many... I don't think there's any businesses in this area. It's just all residential. 3207. What's the name of this street? Now, look at all the basketball nuts. A lot of the young basketball stars. Kids. <laughs> Whenever I see basketball nuts so close to one another, I'm like... Can't we just share a basketball net? But maybe this kid practices to play this kid, you know? And then together, these two play the kids down there. That's that's a 3207. Hey, what's the name of this street? This is Broad? This is it Broad Street? Okay, yeah. Thank you. 3207 Broad Street. That's the name of the house that's for sale. These are really nice houses. Um, huh. So how about that? This is uh, considered Broad Street for the address. And it's actually uh, maybe a block <laughs> from a Broad Street block and a half there's yeah because there's a street here and this is like a cul-de-sac so you could turn around uh but technically that's like two little streets and then you're on broad street so that's pretty uh the more you know we learned a little bit well listen it sure was fun taking this walk we got the See Avante Maddox get carted off the field. We got to see, uh... Well, that's not good. That's not a good thing. We saw, uh... We found out that this is Broad Street and that the people are adding up to their houses. It's very close to park here. You don't need a permit. But I think you got a lot of nosy ladies that stick their faces out the window watching everybody park. So I would never park here. And honestly... I think that's the law. So, all right, these people bought these houses and they want to have their, you know, they don't want jerk balls parking in front of their house. I get it. Here it is, Juniper Street. Just so you know, if you ever eat, drink gin, it's the juniper berry that gives gin its distinct taste. That was a question at Quizzo last night. If you're ever in the Bridesburg area on a Wednesday night, I quote, I host Quizzo in Bridesburg every uh, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. Um, half price appetizers. $2 domestic cans. Can't beat it. Gotta buy it. If the Phillies are on, I got the Phillies game on. Um, what else? Um... I have a Patreon. If you are a Patreon member, your postcard will be getting mailed tonight. Uh, you get bonus videos and you get a post. If you give me five bucks or ten bucks a month, you get a postcard mailed from me. You get bonus videos. And, uh, you know, it's really, it's a magical place here on Patreon. And if you want to just help me out, click that join button. And on Sunday mornings, I have a cup of coffee 
I go live and I talk to you about what's going on, what happened this week and what's going. I guess this is like a little restaurant. That's nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, go there, get, get yourself a uh, cup of coffee and uh, Patreon. I got merch. Check out my merch. My merch is fire. And uh, yeah, you, I, yeah, I don't know if you uh, are aware of this, but you just joined the club. The most prestigious club on the internet. It's the All The Way Club. That means you watched one of my dopey walking videos all the way to the end. So what I need you to do is hit like and hit subscribe. And in the comments, I need you to write, Yo, cuz! Hmm, what should you say? Yo, cuz. Yo, cuz! Breaking NFL news, huh? That's all. Breaking NFL news, huh? Yo, cuz, breaking NFL news, huh? Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Toodles.